want us to drill down on is the fact that I go back to Kemi Bedenok. I watched the entire process. It was in stages, how she emerged eventually the winner mm. of the Tory you know, party leadership. And as we speak, she's, the, she's called His Majesty's Opposition Leader. Mm. She, she faces the sitting Prime Minister yeah. every Tuesday in mm. PMQ, you know, Prime Minister's question and answer yeah. session. It was purely merit-based. Mm. Sir, how can our political parties be platforms that attract the best and the brightest amongst us? That's, that's what I'm going, that's what I'm after. You see the... Because if, sorry sir, because if we have political parties that attract the worst of us, and then we expect change in society, can you square this circle for me, please? You see, it's, it's difficult for us to have... Uh, you know, we have, been, we have been talking about these parties really building inward to become political parties. That in the real be, sense of in the In the real world. sense of it. Having members at the world level, at the local government level, at the state level, at the national. And they're holding conventions and holding congresses and holding all the things that should make them a party. But they're not willing because some individuals have virtually hijacked these parties and all they're looking at is we should have our own people as the officials so that when it comes to nomination period so when when you just look at political parties are just vehicles for nomination mm. not to even build the democracy itself mm. within the parties mm. then you are not going to have any serious uh, you know development because mm. what you are seeing the same unseriousness they have within the parties mm. is what they bring to, to government do you know what I saw, uh, Prof, and I'm sure you know, I mean, you're, you're a professor of political science. For Kemi Badenok to emerge the leader of the Tory party, they had debates at every turn. It was a long list yeah. of about 10 plus people, contestants, contesting, vying for that position. So when they had the first one, they, they pruned them down, maybe to five, then they had the second stage. Then the final stage was her and Kendrick, you know, the other guy she defeated. Mm. That's within the party. So even to emerge a party leader, they had internal debates. Yes. So it, it's, I still go back to this issue of the best, imagine. A system that attracts the best, retains the best, push the best forward. And now, if they're going to have, you know, general elections in the United Kingdom, just like in America, they're still going to have inter-party debates that will be televised to the nation. In the last election, sir, President Bola Tinubu, who was candidate Bola Tinubu, did not participate in any debate. Did not even grant the media any access, any interview. And then he won. So when we're talking about, you know, cultivating, instituting a merit-based system, how can we have this? When someone who wants to lead 220 million people do not deem it proper to address the people, to speak to the people about your plans and, you know, policies for them, how do we assess you? Can you speak to this? Sir? Let me shock you. You see, the, after the elections, all the contestants are supposed to send a report to INEC mm. on their financial dealings within the, and there's a specific period within which you are, you are supposed to do that for candidates and for the political party. Mm. The major political parties have not been doing it. Wow. In fact, it's the, the minor parties that have been sending reports. But the major parties, APC, PDP, all those big ones, they don't. So you see, the issue is, but you have, you know, rules and regulations that you are supposed to, you know, uh, carry out or execute in the in the event in the event of any default, they are refusing to. Yeah, you you, you should be able to sanction them. Why should you have a party that is not willing to even explain to you, to the public, this one is not even to to INEC their financial dealings during the period of election and after. So that they will have records of wh whether they even violated the ceilings, all the ceilings that have been put for expenditure, mm. for candidates, mm. for parties and mm. all that. They're not willing to do that. So, you see, we have a long way to go. When you're talking about the political parties, they have their own problems. They may be having all sorts of uh, meetings and all that, but the real things that will make them a party, the issue of accountability is lacking, the issue of transparency is missing, there's no inclusion, groups are sidelined and all that. So you cannot have any serious development within the party. Mm. We are talking about the, 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 the British uh, political parties that are well established, mm. that are processes. Mm. You go through a process. You don't just, have, you know, from nowhere they say you are the candidate. You know, and you see the effect of money. And I didn't hear about that. 